Welcome to the Morning Tilt, presented by SpicesPros.com. That's right, we have a new sponsor, SpicesPros.com. Get yourself some, I don't, look, I learned a lot of you guys are cooking, barbecuing, special Mexican food. You can get yourself some seasonings, meat seasonings, chicken seasonings, fish seasonings, all the good shit's on there for sure. Get yourself some Mexican candy too as well. I know some of y'all love that shit. Don't, don't even play, all right? I know some of y'all in that suite too. Don't play, all right? I don't know if anyone's had, ever had Mexican candy. You can get addicted to that shit. So again, check out SpicesPros.com. Get yourself some good shit today. And thank you for being our sponsor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eddie Law, and of course, this is the Morning Toke. Today is Monday, August 14th. Um, I try to, again, I try to do these as, as many times a, a, a week as I can. They only got like two or three last week, I think two. It was a rough week, what can I say? But it's a beautiful, beautiful Monday with scattered clouds here in the valley. Unfortunately, it rained like hell. And normally people would be like, oh, well, this is a good thing that it rained in the weekend. No, fuck no. It means it's humid as fucking. On, on uh, you know, in the morning the next day, and uh, you know, no, unfortunately, I like my job, but you know, what I do for a living in RL, real life, like people say on, on Twitter. But uh, I work outside a little bit, so uh, what can I say? It's uh, humidity's a bitch here, like hot or humid. What do you want to do? Not hot and humid, that's bullshit. But shout out to people in Florida and Miami and shit like that to deal with shit like that constantly. All right, so again, today, uh, or the morning talk, is about whatever's on my mind in the morning when I wake up, and here's what's on my mind. Uh, all the shit that went down this last weekend, first of all, I, wanted, uh, I watched a couple of things that were actually kind of crazy. I watched the Belko experiment, and uh, if you want a nice little thriller, kind of crazy blood and gore movie that will keep you kind of on your toes, actually, it was, it was actually pretty fun. I mean, overall, like, no one's going to watch it and be like, oh, it's a masterpiece, give it, this, give it an Oscar, but they will, you will enjoy it, I think. It's definitely not for the kids. So if you have kids... Uh, probably under, I don't know, probably like under 15, probably wouldn't recommend that shit. Um, goddamn traffic today. Pretty crazy. As soon as everyone gets back to school, traffic goes to shit, man, for real. And of course, the occasional, you know, fender bender and shit, and for some reason, everyone has to stop and look to see, oh, dude, what the fuck happened? Like, it's a fun, fucking fender bender, who gives you shit? No, oh, there's a cop at this one, so it works out, so he can handle that shit. We can all, we should all be able to stop rubbernecking here and just keep moving. Anyway. Uh, another thing I watched this weekend, um, I watched, uh, fuck, what's the name of that thing? Oh, the, uh, it's called Icarus. It's, an, it's, a, it's a documentary by, I believe the man's name is Brian Fogel. Um, it starts out innocently enough, and I'm not going to spoil anything. You need to go watch that shit. It's on Netflix. It just, it just, it was just released, I, I want to say a few days ago, but I just saw it this last weekend on, a, on Saturday. Um, but it starts off out innocent, kind of innocent enough. Where this guy, he's, he's you know, he does he he likes you know the Tour de France type of stuff, and he he joins this this uh, or he, he enters this amateur, like hard hardcore amateur race, right? Um, called the something route. I apologize for that. I'm going to cut to a route, something like that, some crazy route, and it's a pretty crazy fucking uh, race, and um, it's all amateurs, but there's some hardcore amateurs there, right? So he does it the first year, and I think he expected it. He just wanted to finish in the top 100. I think he finished like 14th or something like that. And so he tries to get in contact with some people from uh, uh, from WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency. I believe is who it was they contacted. If not, it was like the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency. But I want to say it was WADA um, to see if they would help him dope. If that makes sense. Basically, be a doping test, so he could, you know, basically just to see you know, the improvement, the improvements in between. So, or he, if he could be the the, the 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 drug test. Starts off like that. The guy for uh, that they contact contacts first, it says he can't help him. That his involvement with the film, you know, kind of I guess hurt his credibility and shit like that. So he, he offers the name of somebody else that will, the more like, likely will, and that's where the story just goes. Holy shit! Like it starts off little by little. You you like you know you start you start you start noticing things. You're like well, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And it's a documentary. This shit fucking happened. I remember seeing it in the news. So. Not gonna spoil it. Definitely check it out. It's Icarus, I C 
Icarus. A I C A R U S. What was it? But it's Icarus. It's on Netflix. It's under documentaries. You can't miss it. They got it on the uh, on the on the new releases uh, little section there on Netflix. So check this shit out. Uh, this shit that happened last week, and of course the um, fucking tragic, ridiculous events that happened in in Charlottesville. Um, that shit. Like, come on, man. We, we, it's 2017. We're still not over this shit. In fact, it's getting worse. You know what I mean? Like, so if you don't know, and, and if you don't know, look, good for you, man. Like, you know, I hate to fucking ruin it for you, but, like, it's, I, I hate depressing news like this. And I, and actually, when, you know, when I heard, I heard about it on, on Twitter, that's why I went on, you know, on, on, I turned on the TV and I watched a little bit of the coverage and I can only handle a little bit because I just, I hate watching the news, first of all. But everything becomes so fucking political immediately. They immediately wonder, oh, is he a fucking lefty or a righty or what the fuck or an alt right and all this other shit. So basically, what happens? There was protests. There was a, a white nationalist protest uh, in Charlottesville, and then there was a counter protest. And you know, someone that was pro white nationalist, I guess, or pro alt right, that's what they were saying, drove his uh, Dodge Challenger into a crowd and killed somebody. Killed this girl, Heather. I forget his last name. Her last name. She was like 30 years old or something like that, but. Um, she died. She you know, killed her. They arrested his ass, and it's just like, dude, why is this shit still happening? You always wonder, right? And everyone's like, and here's the thing: this is where it gets touchy, okay? Because you know, the immediate response was, oh, you know, Trump, Trump, you know, tr- Trump uh, gave these guys the you know, the power to, you know, he's supporting these guys. And he never said he was supporting these guys. He never said he wasn't, and that's bothering a lot of people. You know what I mean? So. Um, I mean, the man's responsible for his own actions and shit. That dude is straight up, you know, a, just a sack of shit. But it's, um, here's the thing. If you're going to be a, a leader of anything, okay, people look to you almost for like, for like, to, to, because they look to you because you're the leader. They look to you, they look to you to say, you know, this is right, this is wrong, stuff like that. And, you know, people can say whatever they want about Trump. You know, it's like, oh, we, just, we don't have, you know, people, pro Trump will be, you know, people will be like, well, no, he doesn't have to do anything. He's just, you know, he's just a man, he's just a man and everything. But if a different president that they don't like is in there, it's completely different, isn't it? And of course, this is the weird part to me, maybe, maybe not to anybody else. But it's like you can't criticize Donald Trump because the immediate counter argument is Obama. Well, Obama, blah, 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 this and this and this. And it's just like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? He's not president right now. We're talking about right now. Yeah, I mean, let's talk about right now. Just because, just because you know, you know, Obama didn't do something, or you say Obama didn't do something, even though we can't verify this shit. I mean, we can, we just don't. You know, it, it's it doesn't mean that this is okay. It's fucking not okay. He, you know, he, I, I believe he needs to come out and speak out against the white nationalist movement, and he hasn't. The weird part, and I find it weird, and more, and I'm not making a big deal about it. More, more people, other people are making a massive deal about it, but. Is uh, you know, he went on Twitter immediately after, um, and again, I don't know all the details of the story, but I know the very, very basics. And this dude was like a CEO of a, of a, of a pharmacy or of a big pharma company, whatever you want to call it. He's a black dude. He uh, he left his uh, whatever, he left some Trump organized thing or cabinet or committee or some shit, right? He left it. And Trump immediately just fucking you know, tweets an outrage almost, and it's just like, dude, like, you were quick with this one. You you still haven't said shit about the white nationalists that fucking, you know, protested and one of their guys who killed somebody. You didn't say shit about that. Like, what are we, what are we doing, dude? Like, I don't know. I, I, it makes me wonder. It makes me wonder about that dude. Like straight up. Everyone when he first got elected, it was you know, oh shit, we're all gonna fucking die. And I was sitting here going, we're gonna be fine. Settle down. And then everyone's you know, immediately goes, oh, what the fuck? Like, you know, he's you got to give him a chance. I'm like, yeah, give him a chance. Fuck, he's not doing very well. I'll say that much. When you go golfing, fucking 60, 70 percent of your first hundred days or whatever the number was. Don't quote me because I don't know for sure. You know, but when you're constantly at Mar Lago, whatever he calls it, Mar a Lago. I don't know what the fuck how you call that shit, but when you're constantly there and not in the office working when you say that all you want to do is work you don't like to do anything but work you'd rather work than anything else like you you kind of lied to people or not, maybe not wait lied slash you know put up like a, a weak false version of you so people would like you and vote for you you know what i mean 
So, um, I don't know. I don't know. He's not doing well. In my opinion, he's not doing well. Other people, will, of course, would be like, "Oh, he's doing great." Like, you know what? It's, it's good for you, man. I'm still, I'm still waiting for the, for the clearing of the swamp or the draining of the swamp, whatever they're fucking calling it. Still hasn't done it. So, I uh, just, you know, waiting for that little thing there. But regardless, as far as the, uh, and I hate, I hate that I fucking, you know, bit, you know, took the political bait on that. But that's like the big fucking talking point, which is ridiculous. But you know, unfortunately, somebody lost their life in this shit, and it's. It's just, I don't know, it's a weird thing that we think, that we, how we treat death these days. Like, we don't treat it as, like, almost like someone died, and, you know, because, like I said, everyone politic- a lot of people politicize it immediately. And, you know, no one said, like, oh, some, you know, it's he's, he's unfortunate she died, or she sucks that she died, rest in peace. Everyone's just like, oh, fucking all rights, or fucking all lefts, or, I don't even know if it's an all left, but, <laughs> fucking lefties and righties, and fucking all this other shit, it's just dumb shit, it really is. Like... Me personally, I can't trust. I don't trust. Like, I don't prescribe, or I don't. I don't. I'm not part of any team. We're just, we have this weird team mentality. You know what I mean? Like, when it comes to the dumbest shit, we have this team mentality. Who gives a fuck? Girls do this whole team. You know, team Bradley, or team Ryan, whatever the fuck they they, they call whoever whoever just happens to be on the Bachelorette or Bachelor or whatever, right? They join these teams. It's fucking weird. You know what I mean? You take it to a fur, go further out. It's like I'm a Raider fan. I'm a Cowboy fan. I'm a Cardinals fan. Whatever. Human nature. I do it too. I'm a Cardinals fan. That's what it is. You know what I mean? When it comes to shit that matters though, like, you know, the world, how the world is run and all this stuff, I don't subscribe to either left or right. Do I lean? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think of it that way. I think of it as I'm a fucking person who takes each issue, thinks about it, and then makes up his own mind. I mean, Chris Rock has a great bit about it and explains it completely. You know, there's some things he's, you know, he's conservative about. There's some things he's liberal about. That's fucking, that's, that should be how everybody is. There's some shit that you're liberal about, that you're a little lefty on. There's some shit that you're a little conservative on, like finances, you know, fucking money, economics. Yeah, fucking conservative. Let's save some of the goddamn money and get out of this fucking deficit that, that the country's in. And stop, you know, bringing babies into the world who are already thousands into debt before they're even born. You know, but liberal stuff, like, why is weed, why is weed still illegal? Why? It's stupid. The reasons are dumb. It's all about money. Greed. It's retarded. It's retarded. You know what I mean? But it's a lot of this whole like, oh, I'm team this, or I'm team that. Well, fuck you. I can't. I can't subscribe to a team who thinks for me. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are like, oh, what do the rights say? Okay, that's what I'm going with. Well, no, no. Do you really feel that way? Are you just saying that? Because it's easier to fucking just go with whatever they say and use their talking point instead of have your own opinion. And I think that's what it is. I think people are so. Just, they, they're so uninformed and they don't understand how things work and that's the majority of the population that they'd rather have their team think for them well this is what my team thinks so I think it, you know because if you, you ever see those videos of people going out asking questions at like political rallies and most of those motherfuckers don't have, don't have any answers to anything or they don't really know what's going on you, well yeah fucking hey dude like it's, an, it's it, the problem is education there's a lack of it with so many goddamn universities and so many fucking places just opening the doors to whoever and you still have this, you know, lack of education. It's astonishing. It really is. You know, and and the, the quality of education is ridiculous too. Let's be honest. Especially in like high school classes and shit. And I don't know. It's it's all crazy shit. But regardless, my thing. I guess my point is like we need to get into this new level. This this this. We need to start doing something different about the way we communicate with each other, and the way we educate people so they can understand the issues and we can make some fucking informed decisions and then have all you know all these fucking clowns. You know, pulling the strings for us, you know, or making decisions for us. That's that's just ridiculous, you know. Start blowing some of these motherfuckers out. That just keep doing whatever their party tells them to do, and and not what the people tell them to do. That's why I got to give John McCain a shit ton of credit for thumbs down in that uh, stupid skinny skinny repeal. Yeah, fuck Mitch McConnell. I don't give a fuck. That dude was an idiot. I didn't know what the hell he was trying to do, but that was gonna not. That was that was. Regardless of what you think of the uh, of the uh, the health care, what do they call? I guess the Obama, Obama care, for like a better word. Um, it's like health care, Affordable Health Care Act. Yeah. Um, whatever you think of that, is whatever. We're in it now, right? You can't just pull the plug on it and and just jump into whatever you because you're gonna cause a lot of fucking damage. If you're going to repeal this shit the way everybody wants to do, apparently, or the majority supposedly wants to do, at least in the government itself, motherfucker. I swear to God, people just drive like we're in fucking London. Like, just cutting each other off like we're all in little cars. Dumbass. Anyway, 
Um, if you really want to do it, you got to do it in a smart way so you don't see so you lessen the damage or, or, or you, know, you let you, you lower the risk of of just widespread damage to it. I mean, even if you do end up fucking up, you know, fucking a few million people or a bunch of millions of people, like, fine, you know, I, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, if that's what you're going to do, you're going to do it, but don't do it in this way that's going to fuck everybody. You know what I mean? So, uh, it's kind of crazy. The world's fucking nuts, man. What are you going to do? Man, it's a Monday. But, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, fucking Mondays are the best, man. Fucking Team Monday. Nah, dude. Monday motivation. Nah, I'm not going to give you that. All I'm going to tell you is do the best you can. Bust your ass at work or your career or, you know, whatever you're doing. Do your best and come home to your family. Whether that's, uh, you know, a significant other and some kids or it's your dog. For me, it's my dog and, you know, my friends and everything and my family. You know, and chilling the fuck out. I mean, I, I enjoy working hard, coming home. I'll do an MMA show. I'll do the heel hook with my boy Ash or, or you know keyboard warriors with my brothers my, my brothers Fred Kirby and Jesse um so it's uh it's good stuff man good stuff um you know so it's just just live your life dude that's what it is stop looking over at someone else's fucking paper and they're all salty and shit that you're not doing as well as they are you don't think you're doing as well as they are or whatever it is it's kind of crazy you know what I mean I don't think I have haters I really don't like I really don't you know what I mean? But once in a while, you get that one, you're just like, ah, oh, this motherfucker. Like, I mean, hey, feel however you want to feel. I don't care. It does not bother me that you're upset about something super irrational. That makes no sense. It doesn't bother me at all. You just, you know, whatever. I'm not even going to sit here going, oh, you're just an egg bro, or get a follower, or whatever the fuck. Like, no, I don't care, dude. I'm sure you're a person with a lot of fucking issues, and you're just taking it out on people on Twitter because you're anonymous. I get it. I get it. I'm just not going to engage. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to engage on that shit. You know what I mean? Anything past, like, a fucking, just, you know, clowning you with a, with a gif, that's, that's literally as far as I'm going to go. Because I just don't care. And I understand that you have some fucking personal issue that you're dealing with that you don't know how to fucking express or handle. So, you know, whatever, man. Good luck with your life. I don't... It doesn't bother me, but thanks for the uh, thanks for the views and, and the uh, comments and the clicks. What can I say? <laughs> that's, that's literally all I can say Because that's literally what, what people do So Anyway, moving on um, Shout out to, to my homie Nick uh, Nick Redondo on Twitter, of course uh, he uh, uh, He's a man and he, I met him and his, and his lovely wife April At the Cardinals game this last weekend uh, Dude's awesome um, Bought me a drink, appreciate that dude But like, I literally am that approachable I really am, I'm not I, I don't fucking I don't understand this whole like especially when people on Twitter have like you know millions of followers or hundreds hundreds or thousands of followers whatever it is and they big time people are like dude who gives a fuck like just cause you got a little check right next to your name don't mean shit you know what I mean so now shout out to Nick and, and, and his wife April they're awesome um really good people uh they just happen to live in the valley which is great um nowhere near me of course uh that's fun one yeah, but uh uh, no, awesome people. Really, really appreciate them. Um, and and I, I call them friends. They're friends. I call most people that, are, that, that, that I talk to constantly on Twitter friends because they're just, you know... If you saw my DMs, I never... It's never anything, like, serious. We're just, you know, shooting the shit. So, um, so yeah, shout out to them. Uh, real quick, and I'm gonna, I think I've gone way too long already. Usually, I have to keep this for, like, 10 minutes or less. They're, like, mini podcasts, but uh, I think I've already gone way over this one. So... I'll uh, cut it short here. Oh, MMA related shit? Not much. <laughs> Let's be honest. Everyone's still talking about Mayweather and McGregor. That's kind of all we got. So I might hit you guys up later in, in an afternoon um, an afternoon episode. Oh, shit. There we go. Gas time. An afternoon episode or uh, or tomorrow morning on another uh, morning um, another morning show tomorrow. So, um, yeah. The morning toke, I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a few things coming up here um anything anytime we get sponsors i mean and again I, i've never i've always been honest with everybody like i'm not trying to make money off this thing if i ever get to the point where i can make a living off of this it, you know it'll be run differently but that's 
I'm not trying to do that. Whenever we get a new sponsor, it's because I'm trying to get cool shit to give away. You know? Um, whether that gets more followers, subscribers, that's great, views, whatever. I mean, it really... It's just because I think people on there are cool. And I think it'd be cool to share stuff with people. So, um, got a new sponsor. We have, I have two new sponsors, actually. But one that's active right now. The other one's still building up. We're working on details and shit. Um... It's called, I said it before, that when the show starts, it's called SpicesPros.com. <clears throat> SpicesPros.com is just spice. It's literally what it is. Spices and, and you know, Mexican candy, stuff like that. You can go on their website, spices, SpicesPros.com. Um, S-P-I-C-E-S-P-R-O-S.com. Get yourself some seasonings if you're cooking and everything. Especially for my, for my, my, you know, my, my friends that grill. I mean, I know I a lot of guys on Twitter and ladies on Twitter grill and all that that I talk to. So, especially if you grill chicken and meat and you know you, you like fish stuff like that you got a lot of stuff like that on there marinades um and all my latino brothers and sisters and you know what they will, will recognize a ton of that product on there so definitely check that out um but they are providing us with um with some cash that and it's not you know some cash that's that's it's gonna go we're gonna do this one a little different and i know not i know not a lot of people play video games but i know some people that play uh 2K, you know, NBA 2K, and they're playing uh, Madden NFL, Madden, Madden NFL, whatever. They play the Madden games, right, football? Um, and those games are coming out rather soon. So, um, the first giveaway we're going to do, and it's going to start off um, probably, we're going to start doing the giveaway, Not maybe not this week, maybe this week, but probably, probably next week, I'm still working out that detail, but we will be giving away a copy of Madden 2018 with Tom Brady on the cover. Not the legend, not the GOAT cover. That thing's ridiculously expensive, but, you know, it's not. they, they didn't give us a thousand dollars. They gave us enough money for two copies. What can I say? But uh, we're giving away two copies of Madden for whatever console you're on. Okay? So, the idea is going to be um, as long as you're subscribed, you, you know, you like whatever video you heard this on, so, you know, yeah, this again. This one, this is this one's not official on this one, but for the next uh, keyboard warriors and any other videos we put up, including morning morning tilt, by the way, as soon as I call it official, the morning tilt will also count. As long as you subscribe, you like the video, and you share it on you know whatever social media you like. You know what I mean, and leave a comment um, on. I know it's a lot to do, and it's you know it takes a few minutes and shit, and I got it. And I'm not even being sarcastic. It really is a pain in the ass to like do that shit sometimes. But like the video, subscribe to the channel. And you know, share it and leave a comment on there. Whatever you want to say on there, you know, especially if it's like video ideas. I'm always looking for ideas for, to make for videos. Do I'm, I'm doing a lot more original content now, um, as you know, time allows because you know, of course, I have a life. So you know, work and jujitsu and family and friends and everything. So as long as time allows, I'm gonna be making some of these videos. So if you want to give me like you know, top ten, um, you know, I could do top ten uh, lists and shit like I did that top five for John Jones. Um, is a you know a little fun one and shit, um, and other videos that, you know that, 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 that you guys have uh, that, that ideas for that I, I will gladly work and try to make and put them out there for you. Um, so again, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you want. If you can tag me in it, that'd be great. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I can see that you shared it for sure. Uh, but 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 I'll take your word for it, no problem. And then just leave a comment in the comment section below, and you're in, right? And I will announce the winners um, probably, and I know the game comes out August 22nd, I wanna say. So, uh, it was that two weeks, a week from now? We're on the 14th, so it's next week, I think. So, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I think I'll announce the winners probably like the week after it comes out. And then I'll send out those copies. Uh, promptly, um, I'll, I'll DM you or I'll ask you to DM me your your information, and I will send that shit out immediately. So, and you know what? Fuck it, it's official now. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with somebody, leave a comment below, and you're in. And I will pick the winners. I'm gonna say the day. Let's just say the day after it comes out, and I will send out your your uh, your, your 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 game to whatever console, Xbox, PS4, um, that you choose. Okay, and. Um, Maybe throw in some, you know, see what else I can throw in there from SpicesPros.com. So again, big shout out to SpicesPros.com. Appreciate it. Um, Looking for me, they're local here, so it works out, um, and uh, and I can work with them pretty quickly and easily. So uh, again, it's official. The giveaway's on. 
do this shit. Get yourself uh, Madden 2018. All right. So uh, again, shout out is going to be first for today. Shout out to SpiceProz.com. Shout out to my brothers for Fred Kirby at Kirby underscore MMA. Jesse Rubacabas at Spawat 1983. Uh, my boy Ash um, at The Heel Hook is the show, of course. And that's uh, that's my that's uh, um, that's uh, that's my brother. What can I say? Um, but uh, definitely hit up at Crossroads MMA at Keyboard MMA. Go to CrossroadsMMA.com for all the content. Look up Crossroads MMA Radio on iTunes. Follow me at Eli31. We got Instagram at Crossroads MMA. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe to the iTunes, to the YouTube, all that stuff. Um, and uh, you know, shoot your shit with us. So again, this is Eddie Law. This is the Morning Toke, August 14th. It's a wrap. <laughs>